morning, how are we doing? You join me again in Van Vieng. Yesterday was such a good day, tubing down the river, unwheel day, some cool people. And yeah, just unwheel scenery. Like I said, the only downside was a bit cold, but yeah, what a day yesterday was. Then went for a bit of a night out, but it was quite early for me, quite time. Went to bed about sort of 12-ish, so yeah. Today, to a waterfall, I'm gonna go to a different viewpoint, so stay tuned for that. Um, guys in the hostel, so they're gonna come on with me, and we're gonna see some more of this wonderful place. So stay tuned. Okay, so we sacked the waterfall off because it's closed. So instead we're just doing the viewpoint. We are a viewpoint called Fanagen Viewpoint. It's about a 35 to 40 minute hike. So I'll see you guys at the top. This is the start. So yeah, see the guys at the top. Right, we made it. Top of Fanagen Viewpoint. And the views are stunning. Not as good as Zamne, but I'm being picky because I climbed it yesterday, two days ago. But I'll fuck you around now and show you. You can even see the other viewpoint in the in the distance, which I'll try and point out. But yeah, views are spectacular. And if you look over there, that's Van Vieng. That's the town, just there. There's the other viewpoint, just there. Oh. Right, how are we doing? So it's about 7 p.m. now. I'm just gonna go to a gym session, so I've not trained in about sort of 10 days, 11 days, so I need to just get a session in, uh, loosen the cobwebs, maintain sort of as much muscle mass as possible. A Van Dieng Fitness Centre looks like a pretty decent gym actually. I'll show you guys shortly just a quick sort of tour of the gym. It's pretty decent for, for you know, middle of a Lao, I suppose, countryside or one of Lao town. Um, I think it's in one of the, it's the only gym in. Van Vein, which is half decent, I believe. So yeah, gonna have a quick session. What's mad as well is that it's gonna day pass here is one pound nineteen. It's a joke. So cheap. Twenty five thousand kip, and it's based basically one pound per twenty one thousand. So it's yeah, about one pound twenty, one pound nineteen. Joke. It's pretty decent as well. So gonna have a session. I'm not gonna film it. And give you a quick tour, Jim. I'm not gonna film it because right, basically YouTube only give me fifteen minutes because I'm not like. Um, verified or whatever and um, because basically not a lot of people watch my videos so if so what if anyone wants to see longer videos right please subscribe or please get your mate or your grandmother or your uncle or your friend or your girlfriend's friends to subscribe and I can actually post uh, longer videos <laughs> film it because obviously I want to show you guys all the activities and things so I can't show everything so you're gonna get yeah no no sort of gym montage for this time um, I'll just give you a quick tour of the gym and then we're gonna train so just finished up I think I'll just give you a quick tour of the gym it's, it's okay like it's probably between a rubbish hotel gym and like a decent gym it's probably somewhere in the middle so there's me or as I call me myself a guy who used to lift um, dumbbell rack lots of benches there um, EZ bars and straight bars um, Smith machine um, cables Lot that pull down, leg press over there, uh, back, with another back one, chest press. Um, then you got uh, incline and flat, and there is a decline, but no uh, bar, no bend, uh, sorry, no bar, and then shoulders and another chest, and then. And then downstairs you've got like mats, you know, mats and like a few other different machines. You've got a few more leg machines downstairs. Um, it's not bad, I've managed to get a session done. It's probably not the best session I've done. Just sort of like a RPE of sort of seven or eight. Trying to work in sort of the 80 to 85% um, like strength. Because obviously it's all about trying to basically maintain strength and the remain as less soft as possible, if that makes sense. And since you should be doing a deload week to, because obviously I missed two weeks of training, but because a DOD wouldn't really help me, I'm trying to maintain sort of muscle mass. So to put it simply, um, I want to maintain strength, low reps, high weight, trying to operate on the seven to eight RPE, because obviously I don't want to overexert myself, and that's basically it. So, um, done. I'm gonna head back, get some food, and then uh, go out, maybe. Got a tour tomorrow, so uh, I don't go out. I'll, I've got a, got a tournament, so it won't be a late one, it should be like casual, one or two. Uh, right, see you in a bit, bye.
And what a day today has been. I'm now back up at Namze viewpoint. Basically, we didn't have time, as you probably know in the video, we didn't have time to just, like take it all in on Monday, so I came back up as it's like, the, basically been on a tour today and the driver was like, do you want to go up again? I was like, yeah, why not? Take it all in. So yeah, today, done some caving, been through a water cave on a tube, then I canoed down the river, enjoying the rapids, making sure I don't fall in, and then we'll have some lunch. And then we headed to a zipline course at Blue Lagoon 1, and then we jumped in the lagoon at Blue Lagoon 1, and now we are here. It's been a long day, I was up at 9, or left at 9, and it's about sort of 4 o'clock now, I get back about 5. But yeah, I just wanted to come back here because we were rushed on Monday, I didn't really get to take it all in, and it's such a beautiful viewpoint, and unreal views, and yeah, just, it's not a five minute up and down job, it's actually take it in and, you know, remember it, as well as videoing it, of course, but amazing views, absolutely amazing views. So yeah, back up here, and a great way to sort of finish my time in Van Vieng. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I think this might be the last entry for Van Vieng and what a place it's been. One of my favourite places I've probably ever travelled to. Just so many activities to do and lots to explore and some fun times, met some cool people. So yeah, I've absolutely loved it. And next stop tomorrow is Luang Prabang, get the train up tomorrow morning. And we spend two nights there. So I think I'll probably end with the view of Namze and I'll catch you guys probably in Luang if I don't film anything else tonight. See you soon.